Welcome back you two pipe smokers. Munchow Piper here. Today's video is entitled Books I Recommend While Smoking Your Pipe. But before we get to that, you may be asking yourself, what is it I'm looking at? Well, as you know, this past weekend I did not put out a video. The reason why that is is because I wasn't here. I was in Indianapolis, Indiana at a convention and that convention was Gen Con. What is Gen Con? Gen Con is a huge convention dedicated to board and card games. Any kind of board or card game that you can think of. Battle simulation, uh, horror games, um, and these are not like Monopoly or any of that kind of thing. These are really intensive hours and hours long with little miniatures and things like that. These games are just absolutely monstrous. And um, there's any and every kind of game you could think of. There were also artists there. There were also uh, art authors of new books were there. And companies there that would help you store your games, uh, clean your games, anything that you can think of when it comes to board or card games, you could find it at Gen Con. Now in front of you is what's called a play mat. A play mat is used to help you move cards around easier and to pick cards up off of uh, the surface a lot easier. They used to be just made of black and white, black or white or just solid colors. Then someone decided one time, one day, hey, why don't we put some nice cool art uh, on uh, these play mats? Uh, so they started doing this. Now, the playmat you see in front of you depicts the slaying of the Witch King by Eowyn from The Lord of the Rings. Now let me show you a little bit about what's going on in the scene. As you can see, this is the dragon that the Witch King is riding. Here's Eowyn with her sword ready to strike uh, the dragon down. Here is Theoden and his horse being held down by the dragon. And here is Mary with his sword ready to lend aid when she needs it. I absolutely fell in love with this painting, with this playmat. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I, I had to have it. So... Um, this is one of the things that I bought at Gen Con and I really, I really think he did a great job. The art, again, the artist's name is Mike Sass, S-A-S-S. -S -S. All right, well, let's continue with the video. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I smoke a pipe, I like to do something. I don't like to just sit and think. Now, I do do that from time to time, but I do like to do things. And one of the things that I really enjoy doing is reading a book. So I'm going to be showing you some recommendations for books that I have. Now, unfortunately, I only enjoy fantasy uh, writing, you know, uh, Lord of the Rings type books. So um, sorry for those folks that like Westerns and other things like that. I uh, These are only recommendations that uh, cover the fantasy genre. All right, now some of these books uh, I don't physically have because I have download, downloaded them onto um, my, uh, uh, onto my uh, e-reader, which happens to be my iPad. Okay, so the first one I want to talk to you about is one that was made back in the 70s. This one is called... Lord Fowl's Bane by Stephen R. Donaldson. Now, uh, Stephen R. Donaldson, uh, or, or Lord Fowl's Bane, is a book about um, an individual who has leprosy. And he's kind of pulled out of the real world into this fantasy world to help these people fight off Lord Fowl. Um, it's, it starts out kind of dreary, uh, but it improves um, shortly after. Uh, this is highly recommended if you can find it. 
If you can't, then if you have an e-reader, uh, it's easy to find and download. Now the next book I want to show you is one that I purchased right after I read The Lord of the Rings. That book is The Sword of Shannara by Terry Brooks. Now Terry Brooks, uh, as soon as I read The Lord of the Rings, I was kind of um, spoiled. I couldn't find any books that were in the same vein as his uh, that read the same way until I found The Sword of Shannara. Uh, I really enjoyed it, and it's one of my favorites today. Uh, it's about two brothers who go on a quest to, of course, destroy someone who is uh, trying to destroy the world. All right, the next book. Um, well, it's the next several books. Uh, put out by a gentleman by the name of Andrzej Sapowski. Uh, these books, I'm not going to show you a picture because I really don't have one, but these books are the books that the Witcher video game were taken from. Uh, I have three of his books, Blood of Elves, The Time of Contempt, and The Last Wish. These books are awesome. And I absolutely uh, love them, and they they give you a little bit more information about the Witcher and the people that inhabit his world. All right, the first book I want to, actual real book that you can read in your hands, is one that I bought before my first cruise in 1983. Now, when I say cruise, I'm not talking about cruise on a cruise ship. I'm talking about cruise on a helicopter flat top, which is a lot different. Uh, we would leave the United States, go to the Mediterranean, and just kind of do operations in the Mediterranean to just have a presence there. All right, that book is called The Iron Tower by Dennis L. McKiernan. Now, this book actually came in three, uh, three volumes when I purchased it, but then they consolidated into one. Um... The Dark Tower, or I'm sorry, The Dark Tide, Shadows of Doom, and The Darkest Day are encompassed in this book. This book is the closest I have ever come to the same feeling of Lord of the Rings. Uh, he uses uh, the same type of characters, and um, uh, his writing style is really close to Tolkien's. Uh, so this is one of my favorite books of all time. Now, another book that he did was one called Dragon Doom. It's all about slaying dragons and uh, and the like. And again, it's close to the way Tolkien writes, so I really enjoyed it. Uh, of course, I can't go without without showing you my absolute favorite books. which are The Lord of the Rings. Now, if you've not read these books, I highly recommend that you do. The movies are, are great and all, but they just, they just don't encompass the feel and the flavor. And, and uh, his books are just, uh, just beautifully written. So if you haven't read these, then I recommend that you do. And I, and I just wanted to draw your attention to the art. These pictures that are on these books are art that was written by, or that was drawn by Tolkien himself. These books were given to me by my uncle, and I cherish them very highly. All right, the next book I want to bring your attention to is from an author that's uh, writing today. Um, his name is Patrick Rothfuss, and he did a book called The Name of the Wind. Uh, absolutely wonderful book. Um, uh, it's about this individual who runs an inn, and uh, no one really knows that much about him until a chronicler comes to town and starts and, and convinces him to tell his story. And it just really is an absolutely wonderful book. 
Uh, I highly recommend it. Now another one that he did shortly after that is one called Patrick Rothfuss, The Wise Man's Fear. Now I haven't re read this book because I want to wait until he comes out with another one. I don't want to ruin it and read this and not have anything to read. So um, I know that's kind of silly, but uh, uh, who said I wasn't kind of strange anyway. Um, so anyway, this book is just, uh, I don't know that much about it, but if it's anything like the first one, it'll be awesome. All right. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Now, I hope you found a book that you think that you might like. Until my next video, I want to wish you and your family happy piping.